let's go for 21st century hits. 21st century hits it is. Okay, it's 12 points scored by John there, so that's the uh, target for today. Mm -hmm. Good luck with that, and here they come. Released in 1975, what was the title of Queen's first number one? Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody? It was Bohemian Rhapsody, yes, three points. Who reached number one in 1987 with his version of the David Gates song, Everything I Own? Oh, um... Everything. No, it wasn't. It was Boy George, actually. Here's a bonus question now. 21st century hits. Here's a top 20 hit from 1963 by the Four Seasons. But can you name the female artist who made the top five in 2007 with a different song with the same title? Seasons, but who in 2007 made the top five with a different song with the same title? Uh, the female artist. Oh, Fergie. No, it's not. I see it's Fergie. Fergie from Black Eyed Peas. Damon Albarn is one of the four members of Blur. Name me any one of the other three. Uh, Alex James. Yes, indeed. Alex James, you could also have had. Do you want to have a go at this or not? Uh, well, no. Okay, okay. Uh, Graham Coxon and Dave Rowntree. In which year were the songs at number 30, 20 and 10 in this week's chart? Let's Jump the Broomstick by Coast to Coast. Stray Cats Strut by the Stray Cats. And Will You by Hazel O'Connor. Eight. Ooh. Which year? No, 81. No, a little earlier than that, I'm afraid. 81. Yeah. Bonus question. 21st century hits. This is the debut solo hit for this singer. Can you please identify him? Debut solo hit for that singer. What's his name? <laughs> no, it's not, I'm afraid. It's Stephen Gately. Oh, oh boy's own thing. Which 1982 top three hit by Dire Straits includes these lines? Treachery and treason, there's always an excuse for it, and when I find the reason, I still can't get used to it. Not that one, I'm afraid. Private Investigations, uh, in fact. Who had a top three hit in 1968 with This Guy's In Love With You? 1968. Five, four, three, two, three. Not him, I'm afraid. No, Herb Alpert. Uh, Bonus question. 21st Century's Hits. You're about to hear the debut hit, and in fact, only chart topper for this performer from 2002. What's his name? Who's that? Uh, sad to admit, but is it Darius? It's Darius, yes. <laughs> Six points. Finally, David and Bernard are the first names of the duo that had hits in the mid-90s with the songs Yes and You Do. Under what name did they record these hits? Oh, was it? Oh. Butler, oh. More? No, it's gone. My mind. Yeah, something Butler. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the Bernard part. Oh, no, this, you've given me a right down there, mate, here. Because do I give you one point for a Butler and missing out on my Calmont? Oh. Uh, I know they sang the song Yes, that's one thing. Yes, that's true. Yeah, you're absolutely. My Calmont and Butler is the answer we're looking for. You gave me <laughs> Do you know, um, I'm going to give you one point for getting Butler, and I'll declare you the winner, but I will also um, 
send a Bluetooth speaker to John Tracy because he's so close that he doesn't deserve to only have a T-shirt. So we'll send you a Bluetooth speaker, John, as well. John, there, okay, is that all right? That's brilliant, thank you very much. Well done. It was very close. Very close match today. Anyway, John, you're going to receive not just a T-shirt, but a Bluetooth speaker as well, all right? That's brilliant, thank you very much. And if you want to say hello to anybody, then please do.